Today on Power ng Pinoy, we'll meet with Filipino-American basketball players who are now with De La Salle University Green Archers in the Philippines and Ms. Rhoda Lopez, a talented actress from Down Under with today's host, Anthony Rivero. Welcome to Power ng Pinoy. Ako po si Anthony Rivero. Today we take you to Manila for an interview with two young Philamps who decided to study in the Philippines for college to play in the UAAP basketball tournament. And for the first time, Power ng Pinoy takes you to the first story from the land down under with an interview with Filipino-Australian multi-award winning stage actress. For our first story, here's Alyssa Libao in Manila to bring you the story of these two young Filipino basketball players in the Philippines. Thanks, Anthony. After graduating from Lake Powell High School in Florida, Matt Salem knew he wanted to continue playing basketball in college. His mother, Flora, from Malabon, brought up the idea to play for a college in the Philippines. Jason Perkins, on the other hand, played for Valley City State University after high school. But after a year, his mother, Jennifer, from Pangasinan, encouraged him to try it out in the Philippines. Both ended up playing for the UAAP Season 76 champion team, De La Salle University, Manila. Let's watch the story of Green Archers Matt Salem and Jason Perkins, the champions in the making. When I was a little kid to high school, played hockey. Um, then when I was a freshman in high school, I tried out for the basketball team just for fun, not thinking I was going to make it or anything. And I ended up making it. So I quit hockey for basketball because I kind of had like change of heart. Ever since then, just kept on playing basketball. My uncle told me since my mom was visiting to go take a trip with her. So to try out for some of the schools here. Just going to a new country to experience. Not really thinking, like, thinking I would like it. I, wouldn't, I wasn't thinking that I was going to enjoy it here. But it's more fun in the Philippines, they say. I went to Valley City State University in North Dakota. It's a, it's a Division II school. Uh, my life was pretty much just basketball, school, and football every day. Wake up, go to school, go to practice, come back, maybe do some homework if I felt like it, go to sleep and just keep doing the same thing over and over again. My mom, she kept texting me every day like, Jason, go to the Philippines, go to the Philippines. I, I really didn't want to go because first off, it's so, it's so far. And I'm, I'm uncomfortable with even like going to college far away. And with coming, going overseas to the Philippines, it would be, it would be a lot more difficult. But then I realized, like, like at my last college, I would, my schedule was really tough. I would wake up really early, have to go to the gym, go to school, go to practice, and then on top of that, I would, I would have a job too. I was a cook at a diner to, uh, to help pay for school and rent. So I was like. I was sitting on the couch one day and then I looked on the computer and I saw videos of Los Alamos players and how big, I didn't know basketball was that big over here. So when I saw it, I was just, I, I was just, man, I was really tired of, of the life I was living. And I thought there's, there's a lot bigger opportunity here. I can do a lot more with my life than just waking up, going to school, cooking behind a greasy, a greasy diner for old people. Also, also I, I really wanted to like, just do something with my life, with, with basketball, I mean. I wanted it to be greater than, than what it was. The first school to contact me when I was a senior in high school was uh, San Beta. A coach named Frankie Lim contacted me. Him and my mom were talking for a while. Then he recently he stopped coaching for San Beta. The person helping me reach to colleges out here, he spoke to someone, a coach here at LaSalle. So I was just sitting on the couch one day and my mom called me saying, hey, this coach is interested with you visiting. So I just came up here. Matt and Jason decided to give the Philippines a try, even if they knew it wasn't going to be easy leaving the United States. Of course, leaving my family, my parents, my brother, and then my girlfriend. 
and then friends behind, but I thought I would get over it, so it wasn't big, really much hesitation for me. They supported me. They don't tell me really what their opinion is, kind of make my own decisions. They'll give me some advice, but it's really based on me, you know. So they, they support me every, every step I take or every decision I make. They were all surprised at first, but they, they all supported me because they knew like where, where I was in my life. I wasn't, I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't making good decisions, getting in trouble. So they knew if I, if I came over here, I'd actually be someone rather than just throwing my life away. They chose to attend and play basketball for De La Salle University, Manila. I came to DLSU, the first school I visited, and I ended up staying. I really like it here. But since Jason attended a state university in the United States before La Salle, he wasn't eligible to play in UAP for his first year. The process to play here at La Salle, I had to fill out a lot of paperwork. They asked for a lot of paperwork. I also, to play here, you have to serve residency. So I had to serve that time residency. I had to stay here for a while. Because when I serve residency, I can't, I can't play for UAP. That was kind of difficult at first, knowing like, oh, I have to sit out and not be able to play basketball. Because it's, it's really hard not being able to play and watching the team play. But uh, during, during that time, like, I later realized like, it's, it was a lot of fun being able to wait out and not have all that responsibility on you. Like, during, during that time, I got to travel. I went to Cebu, Barakai, Polo. It was a lot of fun. So. When I first got here, I felt like really homesick. So I was like, uh, I don't know if I can stay here anymore. Or I was listening to like sad music, you know, and you just think about stuff. But overcame it after like two, three months, and ended up really liking it. First thought, I thought it was so hot. So when I'm eating it, I was culture shocked really quick. Even 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 on the taxi cab, like all the cars and the traffic and the crazy driving, it's so it's so loud. Cause I've, I've never lived in the city before. At first, as I'm sure most Philams feel in the beginning when they first come here, they they get homesick and they're not used to it here. But but I later got over it. Like during that time, I would come up with little little excuses on why I want to go home, like little pointless excuses. So when I would rock around, everyone would stare at me. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm black or because I'm big. I don't know, but later on I figured, yeah, obviously I'm different, everyone would look at me. Also when, like even small things like language or when, we would eat, when, when they would eat, like I wouldn't eat certain foods. Prong, prong balut, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat it and everyone's like, oh, why aren't you eating this? When Matt and Jason came to the Philippines, they didn't speak Tagalog at all. Besides school and basketball, the boys also had a deal with their language barrier. My roommate Josh Webb, he, he slowly taught me. Cause I, in the beginning, it was so hard because cause I never, I would just sit in the room all day and when they speak Tagalog, I wouldn't understand what anyone's saying. So eventually, I just had to force myself to learn. Bro, I'm still learning. My hero, I'm Yeah, I'm still trying. Jason and Matt also had to adjust to the style of basketball in the Philippines. They're good here and they're good in the States, like, you know, it's a different play, style of play over here. It's more physical. So it's like still adapting to that as a Filipino American. I'm not used to all the hand check-ins yet. But I don't think I have any advantages really because you know if you work hard, then you could be better than anyone else you want to be better than. I played against players that are in the NBA now, like a player called like Bradley Beal, Austin Rivers. I played against a lot of those players. So I gained a lot of experience playing against a lot of top competition, hard competition. It really, really prepared me um, skill-wise and mentally-wise to play here. Jason had a difficult time adjusting. In his first year living in the Philippines, he was ready to go home to his family in Minnesota after receiving unfortunate news. While I was here my first year, my, my father passed away. We'll find out more after the break. DLSU basketball players Matt Salem and Jason Perkins left the United States to pursue their basketball dreams in the Philippines. Within the first year of living in the Philippines, Jason received unfortunate news from back home. He was ready to pack his bags and fly back to the United States. I went through a hard time coming here because like while I was here my first year my, my father passed away. So 
uh, around that time, I, I just really wanted to be with my family and stay home. Instead, Jason stayed in the Philippines and continued his residency so that he can play basketball for DLSU. He chose the number 10 as his jersey number in honor of his parents, Jennifer and Herbert Perkins. According to his mother, 10 is the day of his mother's birthday and is also the day his father was buried. I was going through kind of a hard time, but then I thought about like what my father would want for my family and they would want me to stay here to say, it's a lot better for me here, a lot more opportunity. I would be able to get like a, a good education, especially here at LaSalle, it's a great school. And I'll be able to take my, my basketball further on to a possible career. It took a while for Jason and Matt to adjust to their new life in the Philippines, since it was their first time to live far away from family and friends. But when they realized that LaSalle was their second family, the boys felt at home. LaSalle has so many diehard fans, it's, it's ridiculous. I know people, they show up to every game, even, even around school, all the students, they, they, they always say hi. Even though, even though we don't know each other, they, they say hi, say good luck in the games. It's, it's support from everyone. Like the LaSalle community, it's like, a, it's like a big family. The team really helped us adapt as Filipino American and meeting new friends here, meeting new people, kind of just helped and just everything fell into place. So it got, got better over time. For Jason, going to the Philippines changed his life. He realized how much he has changed for the better since he left. Being out here, really, it really taught me how to become an independent person. Considering I'm out here, I have to pay my bills, phone bills, electricity, water, all these responsibilities that just came on, came on me. Coming out here, I really, I really turned into a man. I was forced to grow up. Matt Salem and Jason Perkins are looking forward to sharing their experiences with the Filipino American community in Minnesota and Florida. So when I go back, I'm gonna try to tell them about my experience, tell them how great it is here. There are a lot of people I know, they have a bad view of coming here. They don't think it would be as good as it is, but just, I'm gonna try to inform them. Like, it's a, lot of, it's a lot of fun here. You have a lot of freedom, a lot of stuff to do. Contribute, taking the Filipino culture back home and sharing it to other Filipinos that might want to come here. My name's Jason Perkins. Matt Salem. Jan, Jan Ang Power Nang Pinoy. Pinoy. Matt and Jason had a difficult time adjusting to their new lifestyles in the Philippines. They were living thousands of miles away from their family in a country they never have been to. But they stayed focused and determined. They let their love for basketball triumph over homesickness.